guys in uh, today's session we are going to see what is the power apps and what is the purpose of the power apps and how the uh, introduction of the power apps so i have captured two screenshots on from online uh, from youtube tutorials and uh, i have prepared this ppt over here so uh, we'll go through this and uh, we'll, uh, then after that we'll move into the uh, how actually power apps work and what is the power apps first we understand the introduction of the power apps okay so in this session uh, what is the what is the power apps so the power apps power apps is a suite of apps services connectors and data platform which provide an application development environment to build custom apps for your organization so here what it mean by it means power apps is a suite of apps okay services connectors so as you know as you know earlier i explained means in office 365 we know office 365 is the collaboration of a different module apps services together same way in this apps in in app what we are doing in app we are using different services addings and then connect them each other together and we build our own app so you understand from this there are different kind of apps like outlook then onedrive link exchange sharepoint there are different kind of apps and power apps is also the part of the office 365 but the power apps is used for the development perspective or we can say it as a for to develop some custom thing this is one app okay so we can create our own app as per our requirement custom app as per our uh, requirement with the help of the power app tool okay with the help of the power apps tool so so in the power apps what are the different things okay we'll see one by one in, in introduction let's go here okay just a minute let me open the uh in the big screen So, Power Apps is a suite of apps and services and connector data source, connector and data source platform which provide an application development environment. What for the development perspective, we use the Power Apps. We build the custom business app using CDS data model. Okay, using the CDS data model, we build using the CDS data model. We build our custom means see what happened in power apps. There might be the different data sources. Okay, so here either we can go with the SharePoint either we can go with the uh, Excel or we can go with the uh, content data source. So there are different data sources through which we build our own business application. So our, generally we concentrate on the SharePoint only in, uh, in our uh, coming sessions we concentrate on the SharePoint and we use the SharePoint as a data source while building the different kind of power up application. It facilitates to build a responsive app design and can be run on a web browser or a mobile device such as a phone or tablet. So while developing the power apps no need to worry about whether your application this uh, uh, device in which it, it will be executed or run on any platform or any devices either on mobile tab or your desktop so all those things are uh, means considered means th those uh, features are available in a power apps so we'll go ahead so why the power apps means what are the reasons why we go with the power apps that is a very important thing there is a very important thing entry point of thing so we can you can if someone say what is the power apps in short you can say that power apps is the uh, power apps is the development environment to develop the custom apps or customized sharepoint forms this is in a simple words okay so we use the different data sources like sharepoint excel or content data source and also the power apps having the flexibility to open in on a different devices 
that's it so that, that is the our power apps if we go in the what are the reason this what are the reason why the power apps is there so first thing is that first thing is that support modern sharepoint environment first thing is that support modern sharepoint environment so in a modern sharepoint earlier there was the classic environment is there now we are in a modern sharepoint environment replacement of a info path form so earlier what happened earlier to open the sharepoint form or to create custom forms we use the info path form to to open the info path form the info path filler needs to be or info path uh, software or microsoft office needs to be installed on your local system but it will replace this that info path form and come up with the power app apps and we customize our forms in a power app apps this is a no code solution no code solution means it will not require some advanced coding skills okay it will not require some advanced coding skills it having means provide the drag and drop features through which we can uh, create our uh, application don't think that means no code solution means nothing is there coding part is not there that is not a thing but it's not that much easy but you need to uh, groom yourself you need to understand the concept you need to understand different features modules to develop your app so easily accessible across all the devices with a responsive user interface so it will be easily accessible okay across all the in the environment okay so uh, all the devices as we as we discussed earlier support 250 250 plus pre-built connectors and custom connectors what is the connector in coming sessions we understand the connector means it will connect with the different apps if i want in power apps if i want to send an email through the power apps so where i need to connect i need to connect to the outlook then only i can send the uh, email if i want to uh, trigger some flow or uh, uh, i need to add something in one drive so where i need to connect i need to connect to the one drive service or one drive app so for that purpose we require the connector that's why it's saying that there are 250 this connector means it will directly connect to your that particular service means your power app will connect to your one drive and you can easily add the content so like this way like this way we can build our means connector means in our traditional way of development earlier we use the sql and we established the connection between asp.net and sql server so that is the way of connection so here the here predefined connectors are there we, we just need to select the connector provide the uh, user credentials and we can connect with the uh, uh, respective service or app part of a power app platform so the integration with other component power bi ms flow is very easy means as i have told you there are connectors are available we can easily connect with the power bi or ms flows there are different kind of apps in office 365 we can connect with the any app through the uh, connector using in a power apps easily integrate with office 365 azure and the dynamic 365 so we can using the power apps we can build the uh, application for any app like uh, in office 365 so strong governance and security it having great security provided if you are anyone accessing anonymous user is accessing the site the or any uh, your app is required the multi-factor authentication it needs to go with the multi-factor authentication that's why strong security provide the capability to enhance the app with the artificial intelligence so it having the capability of ai as well zero downtime during the maintenance so everything is online no need to uh, keep site down or anything we can directly do the uh, development or changes on our live platform and it will be published once our work has been completed after that cloud based and secure you know that everything is on the cloud now and it's a secure no need to maintain the hardware and anything pro production and development extensibility you can create the different kind of environment one environment is for production one environment is a development development means you develop the first application then it will move into the production for that purpose it's saying pro and development extensibility now there are what are the now this is about the advantage of the power apps now moving ahead what are the overview of the creating apps in the power what kind of apps we can develop in the power apps so 
as of now we say uh, learn that what is the power apps power apps is the uh, tool or uh, we can say development environment to develop the custom application or to develop the uh, custom forms or customize the sharepoint forms for that purpose we use the power apps and the power apps having different data sources and through the uh, we connect to the different uh, applications through the power apps and also it having uh, means uh, uh, it, it having a response to app design for different devices then again what are the different uh, reason why power apps what are the advantage of power apps why we need to use go with the power apps after that then uh, what kind of applications we can develop in a power apps so there are three kind of application one is the canvas application one is the model driven second is the model driven and third is the portals generally the canvas application is growing and generally we prefer uh, in the sharepoint give the preference to the canvas apps model driven is also there then portals are also there so there are three kind of applications we see one by one what is the purpose of each application so canvas canvas means is the um, we, uh, we know that the canvas means there is a one uh, uh, means a blank thing or a blank uh, square or it, we can say that uh, a blank layout okay or blank paper in that so canvas on canvas we say canvas paper means it's a blank and you can do as per your expectation you can do design develop the things as per your expectation so design and build a business app from a canvas in a microsoft to our app without writing code in a traditional programming language such as c -sharp. so no need to go with the c -sharp programming language here you can just drag and drop the things and you can develop your application using the canvas app then so uh, design the app second thing is design app by dragging and dropping the elements onto the canvas just as you would design a slide in a powerpoint it's a really simple thing you just drag and drop the things and you prepare your app create excel like expression for the specific logic and working with the data if you are working with the uh, apps then you need to write the expression functions so in coming sessions you understand and those are really easy functions you need to write you need to understand the purpose of function how those functions are implemented you will get afterwards so through which we develop our canvas app so canvas app we can build the canvas app canvas app into two kind of things one is for from a sharepoint list and one from a standalone canvas app so sharepoint list so how we can customize our sharepoint list form using the canvas apps then how we can create the standalone app with the sharepoint as a data source we will learn through which and we can understand what are the canvas app right, in coming sessions okay so what how we build we build it through the means there are we can build a canvas app from the sharepoint list we can in sharepoint list we directly see in a sharepoint list if you at the at the top ribbon there is a power apps option is there once we click and we say that customize my form so that is called one way of uh, canvas app and another is from standalone canvas app okay so moving ahead then first thing is a canvas app canvas app means canvas app is a blank design or layout on which we add the controls and as the fields and we create our application with the uh, without any code and we keep the data source as a sharepoint or for this through which we develop the canvas app then moving ahead model driven apps model driven means what is the model means the data is based on the data what kind of a data you have through which we can create our own app okay we can say it is the app driven by the data is based on the kind of a data what kind of a data through which it will we uh, create the app okay sorry so uh, the data can be stored in the form of the cds content data source okay we'll learn this is the content data source what is the purpose of so means if uh, what kind of data if that uh, any uh, tracker data or any task data or any calendar event data based on that kind of a data on that your app will work okay entries view chart dashboard forms sharepoint list or excel what kind of a data based on that your model driven app will work model driven app design is a component focus 
approach for app development okay so it's a component focus so model driven design is a component focus approach it's a component focus approach for app design means there are different kind of components through which we can uh, develop the app so we, whenever we are in a uh, modern app then you will understand it very well model driven app design does not require code and the app you make can be simple or very uh, or very complex means as per your requirement what kind of app you want to develop based on that you can develop the simple or complex app also using model driven unlike canvas app development where the designer has complete control over the app layout with the model driven apps much of the layout is determined for you and uh, largely designated by the component you add to the app so what kind of component you are add means you provide the more flexibility and the more uh, control over the app in a model driven this you can uh, Customize as per your requirement in a model driven. We go in a model driven that at the time you will understand the model driven. Then last thing is the portal apps. What kind of portal apps and how we can uh, what is the portal apps? So portal apps helps us to create external facing website that allow user outside your organization. So here portal apps generally uh, to sign in with a wide variety of identities. Create and view data in a common data source or even browser content and reviews. So uh, generally, the Power Apps in the Power Apps platform. So here, uh, to share the content outside the organization, we we have the guest user. For those guest user, we need to create the power licensing. Then Power Apps license will be required for that purpose for the guest user outside the user. So in in this uh, portal apps. Through which we can create the power apps, and uh, the user can directly log in through their organization uh, identity or through Gmail or Outlook or any kind of identity they will go. Okay, so here we can use the data source, create and uh, data source as a common data service. So data in a common data service or even uh, browse the content earlier I said common data source but it's a common data service okay so portal is a whole new way to access power apps anyone can access the public content anonymously by browser provides a different type of authentication and mechanism so generally power apps is an app kind of thing means it having the some different uh, UI whenever you work on the power apps then you know that okay, so how the power apps will open and how it works but in uh, if we go in a portal apps it will be uh, browser compatibility more browser compatibility and we can access it through the anonymous user or publicly facing site in a canvas app or uh, uh, that model driven app generally for the within the organization they prefer uh, to open this app and you can open these apps in your um, mobile also you can uh, connect to your mobile and uh, you can use, use your organization uh, yeah. uh, credentials and you open it in your mobile also so so these are the different uh, this this is about the power apps so and, uh, we go into the how we can implement you can see here here you can see the uh, create an app and here if you go you can see the uh, power apps here uh, where power power apps power apps here I will open in the new tab so this is the call the tool or development environment through which we develop our canvas app, model driven app or uh, portal app. So here in uh, if you want to directly customize this one list and you want to customize your uh, list forms you can go and say that customize forms here or here this is the uh, entire tool I am going to open here ok it will open it. So this is the oh, it directly having the browser compatibility we can directly open in a browser we do not require the additional software to install if you want to install the desktop base you can install the desktop base version for the power apps as well so we stop here in next session we will see the example of the